In Astonishing X-Men, Wolverine is a standout character, adding a gritty, no-nonsense edge to the series that fans of the character will love. Written by Josh Whedon and illustrated by John Cassidy, this run dives deep into Wolverine's role within the X-Men, exploring his dynamic with the team, especially with Cyclops. Wolverine isn't the official leader, but his combat experience and quick decision-making skills often put him in positions where he has to step up. His rough exterior and brutal approach to problems contrasts with his deep loyalty to the team, and he often takes on the dirtiest, most dangerous jobs that no one else can handle. The series also delves into Wolverine's personal struggles, particularly his ongoing battle to control his more primal instincts. His past, filled with trauma, frequently resurfaces, affecting his interaction with his teammates and influencing his approach to their various missions. Throughout the series, Wolverine is central to several key story arcs. In Gifted, he brings his skepticism and combat skills to the forefront as the team confronts the re-emergence of a cure for mutants. In Danger, Wolverine's raw power and resilience shine as he battles the sentient danger room. Thorn gives us a deeper look into his psychological struggles, especially as his past traumas are manipulated by the Hellfire Club. And in the epic finale, Unstoppable, Wolverine's determination and unyielding nature are crucial in the team's final battle against the Break World. Overall, Wolverine in Astonishing X-Men is more than just the team's enforcer. He's a complex, deeply conflicted character whose presence is integral to the series. Whether he's slashing through enemies or wrestling with his inner demons, Wolverine brings a layer of depth and intensity that makes this run one of the best portrayals of the character in recent years. Hey you everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we take a look at Marvel Legends' new Wolverine figure. In celebration of the Marvel's 85 years, I am pretty excited with this figure since it uses new Wolverine's body mold and gets us closer in completing the Astonishing X-Men team. Let us start with the packaging. The front of the box states Marble Legends series, Wolverine, celebrating Marble's 85 years. It has a clear window which shows us the figure and all the accessories that comes with it. At the right side, it simply states Marble Legends series, celebrating Marble's 85 years. The lap shows an art of Wolverine from the comics and again states celebrating Marvel's 85 years. Finally, the back of the box shows an artwork from the comics showing one of Wolverine's iconic posts. Now, let us crack this thing open and see if Marvel Legends did justice to this character in action figure form. The figure scales at 6 inches or 15 centimeters. Now let's check the head articulation. In addition to the unmasked head, he also comes with an alternate angry mass head. He comes with two close fists, and of course, 
since this is Wolverine clawed hands. He also comes with the open palm hand. And a pointing hand. Okay guys, if you've noticed, this is the first time that I actually tried stop motion on my videos. It's something that I always wanted to try on and yeah, I just decided to do it and document my progress through my videos. So um, I really have no idea how, how to do them. Basically what I do when I try something new is just I dive into them. So. I'm sorry if the stop motion that I did are not a little rough and not that smooth yet because yeah I'm I'm still studying on them. They're just they are just my first try. And I really and I really don't want to lose my way on the toy reviews in the end. I, I love stop motion, but in the end I also love reviewing toys. And since this is a new mold for Wolverine. I want to take a deep dive on it. Okay, first things first, I want to compare it to the one and only Wolverine that is my favorite, which is the animated version. Now, until this came out, this is my favorite. But, well, I guess since this is still not the Tiger Stripe version, this is still my favorite because Tiger Stripe version is my, it's, it will always be my favorite version of Wolverine. But, Comparing the mold, I just want to have a look at did it improve and the way I see it, I guess it did because overall, I think the new mold for this Wolverine is bulkier and proportion wise, I think it is more accurate. I think it is more better proportion. And then one, one other thing is that it is, if you look at them back to back, the new mold is a little taller than the old mold. And the biggest difference that I can see since, which is I think is the reason why this figure looks bulkier is just look at that back. Just look at their back. This has been working out his back more than this old mold. Yeah, so yeah, overall, this is bulkier, and I still love you, you're still my favorite, but yeah, mold-wise, if they're going to make a Tiger Stripe Wolverine using this mold, it is definitely going to be my new favorite. But head sculpt-wise, I still like this one compared to this one, which I know is different because this is more of the astonishing uh, X-Men version and based on the comic. and. Yeah, I just, I just, I just want to say that, yeah, you're still my favorite, dude. But I hope they use this mold to create another Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Anyway, let's continue with the review. Okay, before I continue with the articulation, I just want to focus on the details. And yeah, this is so very well painted and well sculpted mold next to the tiger strip wolverine the astonishing x-men version is actually my favorite that's why i'm so glad that slowly they are assembling it and yeah this is a pretty good looking figure i think marvel legend really stepped up their game in creating these new molds and this Wolverine is definitely one thing I won't complain to. This is that this mold is definitely an upgrade. He looks amazing. One thing I like about this one is this portion. They only connected it there, so it's not on the way too much. And then the Butterfly joint. It 
is amazing. Yeah, I love that better fly joint. And then, of course, what is new with this mold is that he has this abdominal cut. So the mold doesn't break that much when you want to turn him. And yeah, goodbye to that to this one this awkward waist rotation which breaks the mold so I really prepare this tie cut when it comes to articulation articulation side by side and then I also love that they still also gave him a abdominal articulation here so yeah this figure is perfect when it comes to articulation, I guess. I love it. I think my only downside is that while I was doing the stop motion, the head cannot look up that much. I'm actually thinking of cutting a little portion there to add more articulation on the head looking up. But yeah, I'm still thinking about it. For the leg, there's no drop down, but you can kick that far and you can kick back that far, which is not that much. And then typical ankle cut here, double jointed knee, and then ankle rocker. He's pinless by the way, which again is a plus. The hands are also pinless and also double jointed. And we also have a bicep cut. So yeah guys, as far as articulation. This new mold is now my new favorite Wolverine mold. I will definitely double that if they release the other version of Wolverine using this mold. Overall, this is definitely an amazing figure. This new mold of Wolverine, A+. And if you're a huge fan of Wolverine, don't, don't pass on this one. This is definitely a must buy. So guys, if you reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. If you love my video, Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And as usual, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.